Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, if you know my world, I have a blog that I put up every Monday. It's called You Made It. I love it. And what I do is I go through the internet and I try to find something fun that I think is really cute and I want to share with you. So this time I found this adorable little cotton ball and cotton swab bunny that I thought would be perfect for Easter. I found it on Pinterest and if you are the creator of this, I thank you very, very much for your inspiration. But I'm going to teach you guys how to make it right now. For this project, you'll need one cotton ball, three cotton swabs, scissors, two tiny eyes, one tiny pom-pom, and a hot glue gun. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little cotton ball and I'm going to cut my cotton swab and I'm going to cut it right about like a half an inch below the cotton part on the stick. And what I need are three pieces like this. So I've got one, two, three. Now what I'm going to do is take my little cotton swab. First thing I'm going to do is add the feet. So I'm going to take my hot glue and run a bead of the hot glue right there along the stick. Put it one side there. on the other side there. And now that's going to make him stand up, which is great. And then I'm going to take another one and cut it. Place that in the back here. And then I need two more cut swabs for his little ears. Now I want to do a little bit of a push away here just to make a little hole for those ears. Put a little hot glue at the bottom. Kind of push it right on in there to make the ears. And last but not least, whoops, going to add the nose with hot glue. Just a tiny little bit here. Now these are great eyes because these are actually stick-on eyes. So just peel off the back of these. If you can find these, these are awesome. And just put one eye on and the other eye on. And there you have a little bunny. And that's all there is to making your very own cotton ball cotton swab bunny. And again, if you were the creator of this who posted it on Pinterest, thank you so much for your inspiration. I love seeing what people create and then recreating it myself and sharing it with others. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and kudos. For more ideas that come from the internet, but also from my head, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.